Good morning, everyone. T-Speaker 222XRP Future Millionaire with the side bite on XLM and Future Digibyte OG. So I don't have a lot of time this morning. My fiance's got to go to therapy. As you guys know, her ankle's all busted up. Um, I'm in a good mood. Everything's going exactly like I said. You know, we hit that double top. We hit the, I told you we had a bull trap, so we went all the way. And I told you, I could have rode it from 89 or 90 cents to $1.15. That 25 cents I could have made, it would have been great. But I had to learn some more information within the charting. And if, if I have money and then I start worrying about my money and it's not about the charting. So what's going to happen now, I did my due diligence. We're either going to do this and double top either up to there or just right here again, you know, right at the top of this formation, come down, and our next point is right around there, 89. We've got to at least touch that, and then we're going to either bounce off of 88 again and retighten the zone to a dollar this next time, you know. So we could come back here. I'm just not so sure because it showed that big head and shoulders right there, so... 110's definitely not, it's definitely not coming back to 110. So it could potentially like bounce down, come up, and then we're going to continue on our merry way, maybe one more bounce, and it gives you the M, see the M? That tells you when we come back up on the top side of this formation, we're going to be up and running real fast. That M would also signify this zone wouldn't be a stopping point the next time around. It would be more like 115, 120 instead of the one, you know, the one dollar area. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it is when you're trying to get on a huge bull run. With all these new SEC regulations and tax laws and all this other stuff that seems to be coming out that was announced by Biden yesterday, like I've been talking about for you know, the last three weeks that I've been doing this show. That's gonna help XRP, it's gonna help XLM. In the short term, it's gonna kill them all, you know, in the next couple of weeks. That's or right now. You're going through it right now. The implications of what he said yesterday is the reason why we had the bull trap setting up for like eight days. And I told you this isn't right. Something's not right here. That's why. This is why everybody knew, you know, they shake each other's dicks, you know, hands wash hands when it comes to the government and the SEC and stock market and crypto world. They all wash each other's hands, period. You think this government thing with XRP Ripple was any more than just a sideshow to get you regulations? You're 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 a fool. Okay? Because if they were going after anybody, they wouldn't have gone after XRP because they never had an ICO. If you guys don't know what an ICO is, I suggest you look it up if you own crypto. Because anyone with an ICO will be anybody who hold on. I gotta throw something away, but I, like I said, I don't have a lot of time, so I'm trying to multitask. I'm doing garbage. I vacuum. Now I gotta cut my grass when I get home. But first, I gotta help my fiance get out the therapy. I just got her in the shower, so I got like a 15, 20 minute window to do this video. But when she gets out of the shower, I have to help her out. So, you know, I told you I'm the multitasker of all motherfucking multitaskers. So, I am not a financial advisor. Should you take my advice? No motherfucking way you should. Should you take a financial advisor's advice? Yeah, probably not. But, I mean, they could get you that 1% to 2%. They could get you that Tesla and Amazon and Google and Microsoft and Ford, Fiat, you know. But you could do that, too. You just better hope the market doesn't turn upside down on you. But what I can offer you is next-level technical analysis. I'm self-taught, self-made. Nobody taught me how to read the charts. Trial and error. I went from piss poor to not so piss poor, slightly above piss poor, into the thousand air now instead of a hundred air. My next goal is to go from, you know, our $10,000 range to the $100,000 range, you know, and in three weeks I went from a nice amount to a nice amount with XRP's run. So right now I would say we're 10% of the way where I want to be in this group, how much we've made. Now we've got to be patient. We've got to ride this down. Okay? You see it forming. You guys should be able to see this. I put it in the three minute instead of the one so you guys could see it more defined. Because the three minute it took shape too. So the more defined it is, the longer stretch you have, the more you can see what's going on within a structure. And you can see it's showing up in everything now. Because people who know how to read a chart know they're fucked. This is a fucked pattern. Once it finishes this... It's going to figure out if it wants to do this and go up. Maybe a little, like I said, it can, 
it, it can further trap people all the way up to 124, but it capped itself with that push only to 117. It would have had to push itself to 138 to make this next cap 124, then 115, but it fucked itself. So now it can only move between the two levels where it inverted down and top side up. And that would put you between 138, or, um, 130 and 115 now instead of 138 and wherever the fuck it would have started. You know, because it would have top side even here. It could have fit in between the two and sandwich, but not going to happen. It's going to do something more like this. That's the right. You can see it right here. That part, that form there, this is the other side of it. Or it's doing this. Like I said, we're going to double top. And that would just mean we're coming back twice as hard. Like when we fall, it would be a twice as fast fall because we get, that's all double top is. We've essentially made a descending top. You know, you don't want that. And then it turns into a descending triangle no matter how you do it. And then you're fucked. It's a descending wedge, basically, and we're wedging us down. You don't want that. We want that, guys. Everything you see right now, because you listen to my channel, it's brilliant. I swear to God, I sleep so good right now. Because I know, guys, I caught something early that nobody else seen. Nobody. Nobody. You can talk about, I know a lot of people like different people, but I can guarantee you, not even the Crypto Hawk himself discovered this pattern as early as I did. I love the Crypto Hawk, though. That's why I'll say him by name. That's one of the... There's only one of three people that I would actually say by name because I like him. X-Infinity is my man. That guy is my single favorite YouTuber. He's underrated. And I know a lot of you don't know who he is because he doesn't have a ton, a ton of subscribers. When I started, he only had like 200 and something subscribers. Last time I checked, I know he was over 700. And that's only been three weeks. So my channel is growing, but his is growing too. And it's x Xfinity, you guys need to look it up. I believe it's X, X I N I T Y, or something like that. You can look to who I'm subscribed to. I'm only subscribed to a few people, but X Infinity, Xfinity, X Xfinity, damn it. That's the guy you guys need to be following. He, he doesn't go into the technical analysis like I do, but what he does is he doesn't bullshit you. And he gives you like video clips of what's going on with the court cases. He gives you facts on what's to come. He gives you in-depth information about what we are with XRP. He's going to give you the finer workings without dragging you along and yanking your dick and lying to you. Like some of these other guys who give you the information. This guy's going to give it to you with the truth. And he's also going to give you some nice catchy uh, tunes in the background. So when you're watching, it gets your heart racing and it makes you think a little bit better. So maybe smoke a joint while you're watching some of his videos because it'll help you expand your mind. And really, if you take in the knowledge that he's trying to teach you, holy crap, did it open my eyes even more to a different segment that I didn't even consider within the transactions. And it was within some of his videos. So Crypto Hawk and Hex Xfinity, I love when people reference a certain people. I don't like when you guys reference other people that are just pure douches. How, how do you like that safe moon, by the way? Remember all, so the run guys, sorry, but I got to do it. The run guys who literally ran you into a fucking, a grave promoting that stupid coin. Like they should be held accountable. The run guys should be held accountable for what happened with safe moon. They've been promoting that stupid coin since before I started doing this. Let's go see where Safe Moon's at now. You guys asked me a few days ago, what do you think about Safe Moon? I said, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I wouldn't touch that thing with a 10-foot dildo. What the fuck? This is what it's called, RFI Safe Moon? Yeah, there's no way that's it. <laughs> what the fuck's the call letters for, uh, for safe moon i told you i've never even looked it up because there's no point when they are advertising it and everybody on youtube's advertising you run the fuck away those pricks are the ones who got in early when it was technically like an ipo just think about it i'm just telling you guys how it is you don't need to listen to me i really don't give a shit I'm just trying to keep you guys out of traps. Like I told you that they're telling you to buy it when we're in a bull trap. How do you think I knew that there was something wrong? These guys are telling you to buy a coin and guaranteeing it's going to the moon. 
the fuck is it? Safe moon, can safe moon follow Doge of the moon? I need to see the call letters. I just want to know the price. Safe moon crypto ticker. See how this coin's doing. Let's see. Yeah. See, guys, this is what I was talking about. Again, I'm going to take my pen out because this is exactly what they did. And the wrong guys should be held accountable with all these other assholes that promoted this coin. They simply told you guys. Ready? Where the hell's my pen? Where'd my pen go? Okay. Ah, shit. I forgot to do it when I had that out. Like an idiot. All right, so screen right. If you don't have an Android or a Galaxy Note, you should you should highly consider getting a, a Galaxy Note. They're the shit. So, basically, they promoted this coin. They're, they had it right here. All these guys had it right here. Okay? Made a run up. They made some real money. Came down. Made another real quick money. They started promoting it to you guys right around here. Or right around here. You know, when it was already on an ascending triangle, so they knew. All of you would be so excited to get in somewhere between these levels that you would never sell up here. Now look what happened. They just cost you guys your entire portfolio. They should all be held accountable, especially the run guys. I didn't hear them telling you to get out of Safe Moon. Because if they were smart and they knew how to read a chart and they put you in a place... Where your 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 fucking portfolio is being erased, they should have told you and had the dot common decency. And I went through their videos to tell you to get out at point zero one two. They claim to be chart people. I'm sick of it. They are the people that are the biggest. One. I'm not going to keep talking about those douches because I don't want to keep promoting their channel. But the bottom line is, when they tell you to buy something at point zero nine. 0.06 and 0.012, but you hardly hear anything about it at the low I pre IPO levels or considered an IPO. That's the problem. I guarantee they got in right here with endorsements. Said, hey, we'll give you these many tokens. You, you know, from here, we'll give you this many tokens. You get the word out. And the higher the price goes, even though this ain't worth dick right now, which is kind of like an ICO, I guarantee you the run guys got paid with this. When it was worth a dick. Okay? I guarantee fucking tee it. I guarantee it. And they were told the more publicity you can give, the more money you're going to make. So why the fuck do you think they promoted it to you? And why the hell do you think I hate these guys? Because they don't know how to read a chart. They don't tell you when shit's going down. So look at that loss you guys just suffered. I'm telling you, that's a 90% drop of your portfolio. If you bought it at 0.3 and it went up to point anywhere. If you would have bought, because you wouldn't have bought it here. They wouldn't have, they're not telling you right here. This is where they're still trading it. That's why it's going up and down. By the time you guys ever bought it here, they're likely out of it. They're obviously out of it by here because they already know. That's the problem when you trust people that don't know how to read a chart and they push a coin. I told you it's a shit coin. Some of you guys were sending me shit at .0009 and I'm like, are you guys crazy? I'm like, this thing is so far polluted now. You're fucked if you get in right now. You want to know where, you see where it's at now? You see where this coin's at now? Point zero 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 four nine three. Just in the last 12 hours or 24 hours, it's down 17.62%. So when I tell you not to buy something, hopefully in the future you won't buy it because the run guys and all these other assholes tell you to buy it because it's unacceptable. They can't be giving you advice like this. If they want to come talk to me, bring it on and explain to me and my audience why you promoted this shit coin, even when it was at the top of a uh, pendulum, a triangle, the top of a bull run, a bull trap, even they kept telling you to buy it. Now they're telling you to buy it again, I'm sure. Buy Safe Moon. It's on sale 70% off. Not telling you it's going back below. I guarantee it. It's going another fucking 35%. Probably more because it's a shit coin. And then they're going to buy it at the bottom or re-get endorsed again to push it back up for a real bull run. And then 
when it goes up, they'll tell you, oh, I told you so, look at it, it's at point zero two, blah, blah, blah. But the point is, you guys are bankrupt. Alrighty, so you're not part of the fun. Meanwhile, they're stroking each other's jollies to their stupid intro and blah, blah. Guys, those people have single-handedly cost people a fortune. And nobody has the balls to call them out. I do. I'm sick of trying to hide who, the, you know. So, I'm sorry, but if people are going to cost people money and openly promote shit like that, I'm going to call them out. So, they are on notice. If they want to come talk to me, if they want to come talk through the charts, let's do it. Bring it. I'll get you off of the YouTube faster than you can blink. Because when it comes to the facts, you can't hide facts. What are they going to do? Tell, I'm going to bring up the chart of Safe Moon and say, how are you telling people to buy right here? Look at this head and shoulders forming. It's so obvious. Well, and they wouldn't be able to say anything. They would never do an interview. Ever. Nobody you see on interview on YouTube. There's only three people that I think would actually, if they knew who I was, would actually... Enjoy doing a broadcast with me. X Xfinity, I know he would. He already knows who I am, but I know he would. Um, I think if Crypto Hawk, if I ever got to know him, I think he would love to do a show with me because I took over his spotlight because he swears or whatever, but I give it to you more real. I love the Crypto Hawk, but, you know, let's face it. You ever see him on a chart? He tells you what's going on in the crypto world. He is one of the first ones, though, that told you Bitcoin's collapsing and they're all collapsing. And he told you about the government conspiracy. That's why you need to watch him. You're not watching him for technical side. You're watching him for the actual news. And that's good. You need somebody like that because I don't give you that. I give you it from a technical side. So if we could all be on a team, man, we could push this crypto crap and everybody would be so. But everybody's got their own agenda and blah, blah, blah. And then the only other person that I would want to, because I like him, I know I talk about him a lot because of his, his uh, slang, but Diamond Hands himself, Tommy on XRP, that is my guy. I don't know why, but I love that guy. I don't care if he has a spew. I don't care. He is so honest when it comes to what's going on. He's telling you, hey, if you hold it right now, you're going to lose a shitload of money, but you've already been averaging it down for years on years. So our strategy is we're going to buy the top, well, not the exact top, but buy the bottom of a, you know, a run up and keep averaging it out in between. And by the end of this, it's just about pure, vol you know, the volume of coins and he's been doing it for years. So that's a great strategy. But for us that are newcomers, like my audience, some of you guys, we got to do it a slightly different way. We couldn't build every level. Now, if you're watching my show, you could have because I came on right when the run was going to start, this real run, and then the real pullback. So I would love to do a show with Diamond Hands himself. <coughs> and help him get a few extra shares because, you know, I could have helped take his Diamond Hands. I would have cut the diamonds off for about, you know, when it was at $1.50. I said, Mr. Tommy, we got to cut these diamonds off for just a second. No, 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 brother. Don't worry. We're going to cut these off your hands and since you weren't you don't care where it goes to, I'm going to be I'm going to be smooth for you and I'm going to buy it at 95 cents. I'm not even going to wait till it goes down to 30 cents. Cuz then you won't care because you probably got 100,000 fucking shares cuz you've been buying this shit since the stone age because you're smart. That guy's a smart motherfucker cuz he ain't getting rid of it and he's been buying it for years. Unlike some of these other guys on YouTube, you know, you can just tell the way that they look on runs up, they don't have it. <laughs> You can always tell when a YouTuber's bullshitting you. Talking about a coin for all this time, then it makes a massive 300% rally in like a half a day or two weeks. And you know damn well they don't have that coin when they're sitting up there mocking it saying, oh, this is a fake out. Yeah, <laughs> it's up 200% and they're telling you it's a piece of crap. But um, anyhow, guys, I got to go. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, But yeah, those are just some of the... the that, the one advertisement for the safe moon with the run guys, man. Every time I go on, I've even tried to block their channel, but they're so, they got their head so far up YouTube's ass. I can't get them off my YouTube and I can't do it. <laughs> and every time I try to send a comment to them in the past, when I first started watching them and I was like, oh, they're okay. It would always come back as spam with the WhatsApp every single time. Go look in their comments. It's brutal. They don't give a fuck about you. They only care about their back pockets. 
Anybody who has to brag on an intro like that and convince you that Safe Moon's a good coin isn't your friend. I'm your friend. I'm T Speaker 222 XRP, future millionaire with a side bet on XLM and future Digibyte OG. There's a reason why every stock I gave you or crypto went up at least Digibyte 250% from the bottom of the top. XRP almost 400% from bottom of the top. XLM 60% almost from the bottom of the top. Right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, I don't give a shit about that crap. Ethereum do a lesser extent because I kind of like it. But, um, and then I got you out. XRP plus 355% by the time you got out. XLM kept 47% of those gains. Digibyte kept every single ounce of those gains because I had you out at 17. Doge, if you bought in at 40, I had you out. Back in and back out with your profits and all your recuperations while we sit and wait. I told you yesterday you could buy Doge at that 18 cent to ride this first wave up. I'm not doing it. I have other charting things I had to do. Oh, I legitimately have to go now. She just got out of the shower. All right, guys. Have a good one. She's calling for me. I will see you later. Have a good afternoon or good morning.